Here we have a farmer, and he has 24 feet of fencing, and he wants to fence off a rectangular field. So again, it's a rectangle, and that boards a straight river. He needs no fence along the river, so no fence along the river. What are the dimensions? Again, whenever the question is asking for dimension, you should give like, you know, whatever feet times whatever feet. And at the end, we want to get the largest area. So now, let's go ahead and write down what we know from the question. Draw a picture along the way too, right? So here, let's say we have a river. So let's say this is the river, right? So this is a river. And maybe you have some fish like this if you want. So that's, that's horrible, All right? Fish like this. I'm not gonna draw fish anymore, All right? So just like water. All right, anyway. All right, a rectangle like this, maybe. Mm. We have 24 feet of fence, so that means this plus this plus that is 2,400 feet, no, 2,400 feet. Again, we don't have the variables, so let's go ahead and say x, and this is also x, and this is y, yeah? So this means we know that 2x plus y, that should be 2,400. So that is what we know. I don't know how many fishes are there, but that doesn't matter. Now, what do we want to know? We want the biggest area of this rectangular field. So the area in this case is just x times y. Good. All right. Now, similar to earlier, the area equation has both x and y, but it's okay. Let's look at this constraint equation. And we can just simply put the 2x to the other side and say y equals 2400 minus 2x and then put this into this y. So we will get a and it will be a function of x only and that's just x times y which is 2400 minus 2x. And we are going to just take the derivative, set it equal to zero, and make sure that it will give us a maximum. And that's pretty much it. Before we take the derivative, though, do the algebra. So a of x, distribute the x, we get 2400x minus 2x squared. Now take the derivative, a prime of x. This right here will give us just 2400. And then this right here will give us minus 4x. And now here we go. Set this to be 0. And, uh, you know, we will just get 2400 equals 4x. Of course, divide the 4 on both sides. x is equal to 600. And that's the critical number. Now, I will just use a second derivative test. And it really depends on your instructor, because sometimes maybe if you're taking a multiple choice question, then this is pretty much the answer. You don't have to verify it. But I will still verify it for you guys. Second derivative. In fact, this is an open down parabola, so you have a maximum. But second derivative. Take a look at here. Take the derivative. The derivative of 2400 is 0. The derivative of negative 4x will give you negative 4. So of course, a double prime at 600, this right here will just be negative 4. Right, it's a constant negative 4. So it's by default, less than 0. And now let's just go ahead and say what we did earlier. The first derivative at 600 is equal to 0 and the second derivative there is less than zero. So it's flagged and concave down. That means there is a maximum at x equals 600. That being done, let's go ahead and find out the y, which is 2400 minus 2x. And that means 2400 minus 2 times 
600 work that out you will get 1200 answer let's just go ahead and write 600 and this is feet by 1200 feet And of course, you can show this picture to the farmer so he knows uh, what the 600 feet is. Right? So both sides, right, 600 feet, and then a longer side, 1,200 feet. That should be pretty good.